Hey, what's up? Stacy Keebler says her contract is up at the end of the week. She wants twenty six thousand. Oh, no, thank me. you. Cesaro says his contract is expiring. How about eighteen K, but he'll stay. We're gonna book fucking Pete Dunn tonight for sure. Dutch. Schedule a run in this week. You fucking know it, dude. Double the cost, I'll buy it. Hell yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> Elspa, I'll buy that too. I'm gonna need it. Where's AJ? AJ's down there. Why is why is AJ only 59 pop? What happened? Oh, Drew Logan did regain Paul. his title. Not Logan Paul. Yeah, Logan Paul, bro. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Logan Paul. He does have a hurt. cool fucking jacket or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, he does. His stuff's free. No, that's he. That's that wasn't a made character too. Though, but that he's actually in the game. No, that's crazy. I mean, he's signed with the company, so that makes sense. Shit, the big arena is available now. Oh shit. What was that? The movie deals is also open. <laughs> it's so expensive. Oh Sus, do you want to play, uh... Um... Oh my god, do you want to play fucking Wizard 1? We all should play. I'm down. Can we, Aaron, you want to? I'm down. Can, we, can, can you let us book a few more shows? Just just for my yeah. YouTube channel? Yeah, of course. Let, it, let me do, like, maybe let us do one more week just so I can get in, like, a couple... No, you're chilling. ...things. I'm still playing my idol game, so... All right, what are we gonna do in the opening contest? You know what? Fuck it. Let's do Ziggler. What do I have to do? schedule a run in this week? Do a kid and Ziggler. No, actually, hang on. I want to be careful with it. I, have, I do have a few guys that are. You know, let's have a. Let's have a Egg. I'm trying to be careful what I do here. Pete Dunn's at 100, right? Okay, let's do that. Dude, Pete Dunn. Do these guys. We'll do a fucking. Do a Hell in a Cell match. They're at 100. They're good. We'll have, we'll have a Hell in a Cell match in the opener. Oh, I have to give it. Okay, AJ wants a rematch against Drew. All right, we're gonna have a rematch then. AJ. A tables match. We're gonna have a call out promo. We're gonna have Stacy go head to head. Tegan Knox. An extreme rules match. In a shocking turn of events, we're gonna have Mandy. Oh shit, they're both hurt. Oh fuck. <laughs> Can't book the same damn match over and over again. So, right, cut a promo? Yeah, sure. Ray's gonna call out. Do a charity. From Bailey. Trying to be careful with what I do here. It's already at level three rivalry. Did you have you gotten paid from Twitch? Uh, I did ages ago, but not recently. So I just got paid. I got I, I got paid ninety two dollars. 
<laughs> yeah, it's because it's now a fifty dollar payout. I know threshold. it's fifty. I know I was so close to getting it before. Yeah, no, yeah. I got like an extra ninety-two dollars now. I was like, oh, wonderful. Just love when money spawns in my pocket. Trying to figure out what I want to do. Ready. Long term booking. Uh, Natalia says that loser Shotzi attacked me and she wants a match with her within three weeks. Sure. Kevin Owen says I've been talking with Sean and he wants to tag with him. Sure. Alright. Uh, schedule a run in on your most popular available star this week. Chiz, who? And then, yeah, that's it. Who is it? Hang on. Your most popular is Hulk Hogan. Of course it is. Alright, cool. We'll have, um... At the opener, we'll have Hulk Hogan go up against, uh... Oh, uh, we'll have him go up against, uh... Tommaso. Both faces. Oh shit. Got a team. Uh Up Hogan go up you know what? Up Hogan go up against hmm. Up Hogan go up against Kenny Omega. And then we'll have Albert Jones run in. Okay, that's done. Alright, and the mid card. Okay. We're gonna have a tag match between uh, Kevin Owens and Sean. They're gonna go up against. Actually, scratch the other match. I don't want Omega in that match. 
Okay, do you want to change Omega then? Uh, Omega. Let's have. Instead of Omega. We'll have Roderick Strong. And we'll have a run in with Albert Jones. Yep, already set. Yeah. And then we'll have them go against Kenny Omega. And uh, Kenny Omega is a heel, right? Yep. Kenny Omega and Finn Balor. Okay. Mid We're gonna have our sales. Uh, Natalia. Go one on one with Shotzi. Okay. In the main event, we're gonna have our sales. Oh, double the cost. I want that. Okay. Uh, you want the spa too? I want the health spa, yeah. You want to use it right now? Uh. It's because your champion is still fucked. Yeah, I give it to Brian again. Okay, <laughs> your main event. God damn, gonna... Titus! <laughs> We're gonna have ourselves Titus O'Neil. <laughs> He's gonna go one on one. <laughs> Titus O'Neil is gonna go one on one with. Now you don't have enough heels. Yeah. I'll have him go up against uh, Cameron Grimes. Any special match type? No. Sure? Not, they in, have that, a lot not, of in, not in that one. They have a main event. Uh. Oh yeah, they're 100, you're right. Alright, let's make that a Extreme Rules match. Okay. And then let's make the, uh, the tag match. Let's make that a... Uh, tables match. Mid card, let's make that an Extreme Rules match. And then in, we're gonna have ourselves a... Self-promo. You know what? No, no, no. Let's have a call out instead. Let's have. Mm. Let's have. Dexter call out Omaga. Yeah. He only has a one. You're sure with that? Yeah. Because it needs to be done. Okay. Or unless you want to flip it, whoever has the better one. Maga has the better one. I'll give it you, Maga. It just comes uh, out. Let's have a charity from Cody Rhodes. Okay. The promo. Let's have, let's have a call out. You know what? No, let's have a role change. Just, yeah, this needs to happen. We're going to have. Ah, everyone's going to have to wait on the world change. Uh, let's have a self promo. Let's have uh, Bianca do it. Alright, logistics. I got nothing. No high rivalries. I mean, honestly... I don't have any of my rivalries books this week, so I mean you kind of get a pass. Wow. So I mean okay, it's uh, it's your call. I mean you can book them and get the popularity boost. I did not run mine. I have no. I have book, none of these. Book all the other stuff before you do that one. I want to see how much it would cost to buy stuff. You don't have the McMahon one. I don't want that. That one. Yeah. Do you want to buy this or no? Yeah. You want to buy it? Yeah. Yep, that's where you're at. Uh. Now nah, just hold off. Just buy it. Just use uh, yeah, the Thunderdome. Then you already fulfilled that, and then everything else seems to be pretty much good to go. 
Yep. Uh, none of your contracts are expiring this week, but Albert Jones does come up next week. Yep. Good? Yep. <laughs> You're spending, you'll have more than enough money left over. I so much will not. In the opening contest, Pete Dunne gets a match against Austin Theory in a Hell in a Cell match. Pete Dunne wins after Johnny Mayhem came from underneath the ring and hit Theory with the Mayhem driver. He kid comes out challenging Dolph Ziggler at the next pay-per-view, which is unknown at this time because I don't know what the fucking pay-per-view is. But he did challenge him at the pay-per-view and said, I'm going to kick your fucking ass, you, you piece of shit. And then, you know, SmackDown cut his mic off and sh sh we went to commercial. And in the mid-card, Aya Dragunov takes on Kalisto in an Extreme Rules match. Why? Because we fucking can. Kalisto wins after I Aya Dragunov takes a fucking attitude adjustment. And then Saraya calls out Mandy Rose and it got an excellent saying, Where the fuck are you? I want your fucking title. And they cut her mic off and they cut to commercial. There's just too much swearing on my show. And then Adam Cole takes on Brock Lesnar in a normal match. Adam Cole nearly shits his pants in this match. But thankfully, thankfully Brock Lesnar wins because he hits him with an F5. And the reason why Adam Cole did, he did shit his pants. But Cesaro hit the swing and all the shit came out of his pants. So it was okay. We were good. And then Bailey cuts another charity promo for Raw. Saying, look, we really need to help Raw here. Desperately. They need help. Send them all the love they can. And for the love of God, pray. Pray Albert Jones does not deliver another dirty diaper. Uh. And the fan went over. And in the main event, we're going to simulate because I've already seen this fucking match a dozen times. Drew McIntyre <laughs> takes on AJ Styles in a rematch. AJ Styles said, look, if I don't get a fucking rematch... I'm walking. And I was like, and I was like, whoa, AJ, hang on a second. I mean, are you just going to walk around the block? And he's like, no, I'm going to walk out on SmackDown. I said, hang on a second. You're going to come back, though, right? And he's like, no, I'm leaving. I'm walking. And I said, I get that. But you're coming back. I think there was a miscommunication because AJ got all pissed off. So I just booked this match anyways, just for shits and giggles, and AJ was cool with it. I, so I don't understand what happened. Maybe AJ walked it off. I don't know. I'm honestly confused. And Drew McIntyre retains his Universal Championship. We move to Raw, where we have Hulk Hogan, Mr. America, take on Roderick Strong, the Diamond Mine. Can, is America stronger than a Diamond, Aaron? Yeah. Apparently you're right. But the one thing America is not strong against is a dirty diaper. Because that's what we got here tonight. <laughs> and then MAGA comes out. No Armando Estrada. He just comes out on his own, grabs a fucking microphone, and he's just <laughs> like, he's just like, blah, 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 blah. And the fans loved it. They don't know what the fuck he said. He just started screaming a bunch of gibberish. And at one point, I think he said something about toothpaste, but we don't know for sure. His teeth was still... Wait, still there's yellow. a Dragon Spire World Pass? I guess so. And in the mid-card, we have the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, with the Heartbreak Canadian, Kevin Owens, taking on the Demon Balor and Kenny Omega, which, mind you, Balor and Kenny used to be part of something called the Bullet Club. But, of course, WWE does not contone weapons. Anything of projectiles, we do not condone. So that wasn't allowed to be said. And I don't know where Kevin Owens pulled out a fucking gun. I don't know what happened. He pulled out a fucking gun on Kenny Omega. And Kenny Omega backed down and put himself through a table. He just, he just fucking threw himself through the table. It was, it was amazing. And then Cody Rhodes comes out. And says, look, we don't condone guns in this company. Okay, there should be we no guns. Condone Whataburger. But but we do condone Whataburger. And he says, look, because of what Kevin Owens <laughs> did tonight, okay? What he did tonight, pulling out a gun on Kenny Omega, he's like, he's next week on Raw. Or possibly the pay-per-view. He doesn't know yet. He's got to work it out with the general manager. He will defend his year supply of Whataburger burgers. 
So he he said for the first time since he's won this title, he's going to defend it. And the fans loved it. They're excited. They're like, who the fuck is Cody Rhodes actually going to eat a year's supply of Whataburger? Or is somebody else going to take it? Who? Who? And in the mid-card, Natalia gets her shot at Shotzi. No pun intended. Full pun intended, actually. After Shotzi, for some reason, just ran out. She must have been pissed off that her OnlyFans page has not been working out with her feet pics. So Shotzi... Is facing Natalia in an extreme rules match. And the question is, Aaron, did she use feet-based offense? Nope. She did not. Well, that might nope. be a problem for Shotzi because the Shotzi wins. Never mind. Fuck me. But it was dull because she did use feet-based offense, unlike what Aaron said. She totally did. <laughs> she ripped off her boot, and she had a little toe fungus. And the fans saw it, and they were disgusted. But the thing is, the referee could do nothing about it because it's extreme rules. And Bianca Belair comes out, cutting a promo, saying, that was, those some nasty feet. For the love of God, please stop booking Shotzi. <laughs> and the fans agree. They're like, fuck this bitch. And in the main event, which we are watching this, yep. <laughs> it's going to be Mr. Charity, Titus O'Neil, versus the multi-millionaire, Cameron Grimes. And you want to know why this, Aaron, Aaron, this match was booked? Why? Because Cameron Grimes refuses to, to donate to charity. He just won't do it. And Titus O'Neil had about about a fuck enough of it, okay? He's like, you know what? I come out here week after week doing charity, and you don't donate a fucking dollar, Cameron Grimes. Not even a fucking quarter. I saw you last week go to that vending machine and drop that quarter in and pulled it out with a string and stole that sandwich from that little kid. And he's like, fuck you. Extreme rules match tonight. Of course, they threw him off the air because I swear he swore. But he still got his match anyways. They cut off his microphone. See, the, the whistle's going off because the referee knows there's a problem. The following contest is an Can I tell you what's ironic, Aaron? What? In his theme song, he says he's making million-dollar moves, but he's supposed to be Mr. Charity. Is he making million-dollar moves for charities, or is that his own money? Both. Both? No wonder, no wonder he's Mr. Charity. Wait. Are, is, is it possible that Titus O'Neil is the man behind Whataburger? No, he just has a money laundering business. A money laundering? But he's supposed oh to be God. Mr. Charity. What the fuck? Oh, he's a dog. He's the dog. Oh, my God. Cameron Grimes is being welcomed into the dog pound of Whataburger. Mr. Charity confirmed to have a money laundering business live on television. I think this might be his last night on Raw, if that's the case. <laughs> Here comes Cameron Grimes, big money investor, and a big denier of, of uh, charities. The truth is, Cameron Grimes found out about the business. He found stole out. stole all his money. So now what, what Titus business? Is... Whataburger? No, his money from his money laundering. So Cameron Grimes found out about Titus O'Neil's money laundering business. Yep, and he stole all the money. He stole all of Titus O'Neil's money. Is that why Miss Titus is doing charity now? It's for himself? Yep. Wow, Titus is a fucking heel. It's all been a lie. We've been lied to. Titus O'Neil is not the generous man we once knew. Aaron Grimes exposing him for what he is. The rabid dog. Mr. Charity is Mr. Scumbag. Look at this. He's throwing up the peace symbols. This is the biggest political scheme I've seen in centuries. This is almost as bad as whenever Donald Trump got RKO'd by Randy Orton. I don't remember that happening on your show. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know who that is, honestly. Must be some jobber on the indies. I think it's some jabroni. Yeah, I think so too. I've never heard that name before. Here we go. Mr. Charity, quote-unquote, versus Cameron Grimes. Look at this. He's just toying with Titus. Oh, slap to the fucking chest. He's going in hard. I think you might be right, Aaron. Exposing the money laundering business may not have been a good idea for Cameron Grimes. But what does this mean for Titus? If with Titus exposed now, how, how can we go? Oh, my God, the forearm. He's going to get a bonus if he wins this one. He's going to get a bonus? But what about the charities? 
What 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 do the kids say nowadays? It is what it is. Wow, the biggest heel turn in Raw history. Titus O'Neil turning his back on the charities and and just quite literally money laundering business. It's weird that Cameron Grimes is now fighting for the WWE and the kids. I, I mean, look kid. at little little look at little Jimmy right there in the front row, the little blonde kid. Look how upset he is. Look, he's excited. Cameron Grimes has beat the shit out of Mr. Charity. Swan time with the knees. What the hell? What was that? Oh my god, the swanton into the knees. Oh my, Titus blocking the shot with a with a uppercut. Ooh, 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 ooh. Setting him up, throwing him into the ropes face first, like his money laundering business. That's Elbow well drop. That guy's doing the yes chant for some reason in the background. Little Jimmy can't see over the fucking uh, the <laughs> barricade. That one little Jimmy behind him is going fucking crazy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what is that Chad Gable right there? What is Chad Gable doing in the, under the bear by the barricade? That's Chad Gable. Know. <laughs> what is Chad Gable doing in the crowd? <laughs> That's one of my guys. <laughs> Why is Chad Gable watching Raw? All right, there's going to be some problems here. I, I'm going to be right back. I got to go talk to Chad Gable. I'm calling him on my cell phone right now. Hang on, I gotta call him. Hang on a second, this is a problem. I'm, I'm calling him, hang on a second. Phone's ringing, he ain't answering. This motherfucker's ignoring my phone call. He's recording though. He ain't recording, I see him standing there. He's just sitting there. He's ignoring my phone call. This motherfucker is ignoring my phone call because he's watching Raw. All right, you know what? I'm going to solve this problem on SmackDown next week. This is not happening. This motherfucker is going to face consequences. There's no way one of my guys shows up in the crowd on uh, for watching Raw. This, this is not what my guys do. Especially in a money laundering scheme, okay? My show will not get caught in a money laundering scheme. It's not happening. But Titus O'Neil is getting uh, Mr. No, no. Cameron Grimes. No, no. I, I'm some, leaving uh... Chad Gable a message right now. Chad Gable, Chad, Chad, dude. I don't don't play coy with me. I fucking see you in the crowd, you piece of shit. Okay? I see you fucking in the front crowd with your stupid ass blue shirt. I don't know what the fuck it says on that goddamn shirt. But on SmackDown, you better fucking bet. I'm putting your ass against John Cena in a TLC match. You're going to get fucked. <laughs> You're going to get Just fucked what? on SmackDown, okay? You, Cena, TLC. He's going to go one on with the Undertaker. Cameron Grimes with a fucking sick moonsault. I'm not even sure what to call that. I don't even know how he picked up Titus O'Neil for that. Titus O'Neil hasn't seen that kind of athleticism since he was in football. You should see the athleticism whenever Titus O'Neil has to run because he was just tired. Oh, my God. Sport. Oh, no sold it. Oh, my God. Cameron dodges, but can't dodge it a second time. In the corner. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Trying to kill Cameron Grimes because if there's no evidence, there's no crime. Jesus Christ. Cameron Grimes setting him up with a vicious forearm. Trying to pin him. One, two, three. Knocked him out with that forearm strike. Just completely knocked his ass out. What a strong showing in the main event. We learned many things about Titus and his money laundering business. Cameron Grimes, we thought, was a heel for the ages. We thought he was just a millionaire that didn't respect charities, but, but instead he was but, trying to save but the here, business. But here's the problem. And whenever you, they look, if you look at the paper closely, that, that allows you to donate to the charity, it clearly states that this is a money laundering business. So the audience is just too stupid to realize what was actually going on. So you're telling me Titus was doing things legally? Yes. This is too complicated. This is why I, I, I'm not on Raw. This is this is why I don't book Raw. Fans thought it was good and oh it starts God. a new rivalry. What the fuck was that hat? What happened to the hat? Oh no. I didn't want to rivalry. 
Well, we got a big rivalry, it looks like, between O'Neal and Cameron Grimes, and we just got a confirmation that Chad Gable's facing John Cena next week on SmackDown. Here we are. Making our way. Oh, these guys are actually kind of strong. Fuck. Michael and Owens worked as a really good tag team. Pretty special effects booking. Here we are. I'm getting further and further ahead, actually. <laughs> 